Besides Instagram, there's an app called Tribe. Now, Tribe, I... <laughs> uh got sushi for my dad it's like not even for me I'm such a good daughter we're gonna talk about just something I think I've solved in my head after listening to lots of podcasts and music I think I have a better answer to how to get Instagram true fans like not that BS like buy unfollow and follow and this is some real like next level fan base and engagement as we're doing that I'm gonna go delivery my dad got lunch, I'm gonna get my lunch. It's currently 12 p.m. I got done so many things. Emails on emails. I got a coaching call uh, prep ready. Honestly, yes! Usually I'm not productive. Today, productive. My focus has been so much better lately. I think yesterday I totally made a video me trying to explain how to get a true fan base. So today, I was trying to get a sale in from a coaching student. Gotta pay the bills. If you haven't already, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to Dharma Nation. I am yelling in Portland, so. Yeah, we're gonna go to Whole Foods, I think. Honestly, I can make this at home. Hi! Okay. So, I think the question I wanted to rephrase was how to get 100 true fans. People focus on selling. They focus on people following them. But if you think about it, there's a reason why a lot of successful people do things on accident. Not because it was not like on purpose, it was just because their intention wasn't to sell them for the short-term success. For example, when potato chips were first made, it was on accident. Did you know that? Fun fact! Okay, when you focus on selling, even if you're lucky, you'll get like one sale. What makes money isn't selling, if you guys don't know that. Like, what makes money is developing a product that people want, because you guys heard this before, but people don't like to be sold, they like to buy. If you're sole attention to get more followers, you're not gonna get more followers. In like rare cases, you're gonna get small amount of followers that don't really care. That's why I don't like the idea of follow and unfollow. I'm not saying like don't do anything in regards to marketing and distribution. You just don't want to put yourself into a bubble where you just want followers. Ideally, you need to have a product Product that sells well aka maybe yourself maybe your content that helps people you don't actually want their money or you don't actually want them to follow you you want them to give them your attention the way you get people's attention is by not focusing on selling is by creating the product that makes them want to get there it's like about reverse engineering the role plays of like who you are as a marketer or a personal brand you're always belittling your own worth that you're trying to get people to follow you on this channel we are all about that true engagement life you can really create a product that sells well and people are so confused they're like Jade I don't want to make money from Instagram like I I don't want to do this that's fine like if you're happy and you're not agreeing with my content then you win however if you're not happy and you do want to make some money because you're working so hard and getting too little money is not a bad thing it's only an energy it's only bad when all you do is shove it down people's throat we're gonna go back to the coffee shop work a little bit more okay so i got an email from a subscriber named charlie to download this new influencer app apparently it's called tribe there's 1.7 stars so i'm gonna download it for you guys do a little quick review i'm gonna do some research finally it's your chance to say hi. Hey. Do you want to say a uh, shout out to the comment winner? Oh, shout out to the comment winner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. All right, so I'm back home. Besides Instagram, there's an app called Tribe. Now, Tribe, I, <laughs> if you go on Tribe's app reviews, it's like 1.7 stars. So let's go to the front page. Get paid to recommend the brands you love. Tribe is the world's fastest influencer app. Browsing through hundreds of leading brands impress them with your creative posts. If approved, get paid within 48 hours of publishing. Sounds great, but then you read the reviews. Influencers are expensive to pay for the items. What the f <laughs> Next review, one star, annoyed. Next, one star, don't waste your time on this app. Next, one star, don't even think of downloading this app. Scam for influencers, worst app ever, horrible. You, you guys get, you guys get the picture. I want to see how bad this app really was, so we go, I come and if, okay, so their claim is get paid to recommend the brands you love. If that's your tagline, why the frick are you all your freaking brands, like a random ass crap I've never heard of, Urban Originals, Daisy and Chip. If you wanted to make a slogan, at least make it truthful. It doesn't even make sense. Like I would literally, if I was the marketing director, I would be like, let's change that and make it honest and genuine and be like, get paid to recommend the brands you don't even know of. That's what, that's what honestly I would do. Basically, it looks like this. You scroll, 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 and you get brands to work with. You tap on a brand. Let's see. Lila Gold. Let's work with Lila Gold headphones. It gives you the content they like. It gives you examples of pictures to post. That one is a good looking one. You have to buy the product first, and then you get to create post and name your price, and only if they approve it within 48 hours, you get money. 
and I don't even like these brands. I think it's gonna flop. This app is already flopping. There's so much potential. It's just like, there's other influencer marketing websites out there. Amazon Affiliate, for example, they have a bigger selection and they're not scammy. Like you can use my influencer code and get paid. Like you don't necessarily have to buy the product first, but most influencers, it's nice to have the product before you have to buy it. I feel like this app is a total flop. It's not saying things that are truthful. Like you have to purchase the item first, okay? You're not even offering a coupon. The fuck? But I don't even know these brands. I do actually just want to compliment the user interface. It looks really cool. Like basically if you like search stuff, just it looks good. I think it looks good. So yeah, I'm going to delete this app. I <laughs> hope the person who emailed me just gets a little, you know, understanding that I don't think this is going to work out just because it's hard to save something that's a genuine lie. Like you can totally save most apps, but if it's like scam, yeah, I don't think it's going to last. So anyways, that was today's rant about Instagram likes and followers. And we also went into try the new influencer networking app. Honestly, guys, Follow my DM script. I'll link it right here and below. My subscribers are getting brand deals every single day. I get screenshots of people just crushing it out there with my script. So I'll link below. I'm not trying to self plug myself, but it will really help you. Just follow the DM script. Yourself is the brand. You don't need a third party to, I guess, be in the middle of the exchange between the brand and you. Just go out there and crush it. Honestly, crush it. Dominate, domination. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really pissed off, if you can't tell. Not only was Tribe a fail, but some random company just bought me likes, and I don't appreciate it at all. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe to this channel. Catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.